Well, a lot of people will be packing local lakes today and throughout the whole summer to have fun and stay cool. But there's a problem in the water zebra mussels. You might have heard about this invasive species. Once they're found in the water, it's nearly impossible to get rid of them. Yeah, and they can cause some serious issues for boaters and infrastructure. But a lake up in Waco did eradicate zebra mussels. It was a long shot, but it worked. In this week's Case That Explains, David Sears and Myra Arthur find out how and whether a solution like that could work for our local lakes here at home. There's just like fire ants or, you know, they just come and, and you really can't get rid of them. They just accumulate in these big clumps. You literally have millions, if not billions of them out there. There's really nothing that can be done to eradicate them. There they are. There you go. Zebra mussels were found in Canyon Lake in 2017. A scuba diving type survey done at Canyon Lake and they didn't find any adult zebra mussels, right? And 2017 was when it was infested. It happens fast and boats are to blame. The mussels attach themselves to boats and hang on to those that are not drained and dried. Essentially, they hitch a ride from lake to lake. 28 Texas lakes are considered infested with zebra mussels, which means they're there and reproducing. When they grow, they clog up pipes, they get all over boats, um, they just basically destroy infrastructure. And that's a huge problem for places like Canyon Lake, where this is the community's water source. Look how the mussels clogged this water intake pipe belonging to Canyon Lake Water Service Company in 2019. The infestation choked off the water supply, dropping it by 50%. The fact is that they can smother things, anything that's in uh, the water. Just spotting these. Ironically, smothering is exactly the strategy that got rid of zebra mussels in Waco. Really didn't have much chance to succeed when we, when we did it, but we thought, why not? The mussels were found in Lake Waco in 2014. They fell off of a barge that Tib says was put in the water despite showing obvious signs of the creatures. They knew the threat of zebra mussels, which is why just weeks before they were discovered here in Waco, Parks and Wildlife actually trained city staff on how to spot them, and that's how they were found. A lone pair of eyes saw the mussels in the water, and that kicked off this whole experiment. We defined an area, and um, the decision was made to put tarps all over the bottom of the, of the lake here to smother out the zebra mussels. Uh, they require oxygen to live, they require food to be taken from the water, and so if they were smashed to the bottom of the lake, they're not going to be able to do any of that. The mussels were found right at the shoreline. An area of the lake about the size of a football field was covered in tarps held down by sandbags. It was a Waco City employee's idea. We gave it kind of out of a 10% chance of success, but it was the city's money, so we helped. <laughs> and uh, he was right. It worked. Six months later, they pulled up the tarps and found one zebra mussel. And now years later, they've yet to find any more. How do they describe the success? Lucky <laughs> would be one word I would use. Here's why. The mussels at Lake Waco were caught early. There were only about 75 of them at the time, all adults, and they hadn't reproduced yet. It was caught just in the nick of time for that technique to work. Most often, by the time the mussels are discovered, there are far too many to control. That's the case in both Canyon and Medina Lakes. Chemical removal of the mussels would have a negative effect on the environment, potentially killing off other wildlife. Not to mention... It's going to be hugely expensive, a lake of this size, uh, to put chemicals in there. Um, it, so not only is it environmentally damaging, um, it'll be very expensive. So on lakes like Canyon and Medina, it's about learning to live with them. Mother Nature helps out somewhat on Medina Lake where the water level is low, down 57 feet. In areas where the water dries up, the mussels will die. The lake level going up and down like that certainly could uh, aid in slowing the population and maybe they won't reach in a variable level lake. They may not reach the just massively high infestation levels that we see on lakes like Travis and Canyon. At Canyon Lake, changes had to be made to deal with the infestation. Canyon Lake Water Service Company enlarged its infrastructure, making it big enough for divers to do inspections and remove any mussels they find. And now we actually have a brush that goes down into the casing and will clean out all of the debris or any kind of zebra mussels 
mussels and push them out back into the lake. So you got one of those bottle cleaners. Huh? It is a giant <laughs> bottle cleaner on a drill and it just goes all the way down. Canyon Lake Water also changed up the screens on the water intakes, moving to copper, a material the zebra mussels don't like to stick to. But the biggest solution Clean, drain, and dry. Clean, drain, dry. Clean, drain, and dry their boats. Must come from boaters. The important thing is that when you come out of a lake, you know, check your boat over. Particularly if it's in a, a, a slip and it's been in there a long time, you really need to clean it. Drain all the water from every compartment, raise and lower the motor, get all the water out of that. And then when you get home, open everything up and let everything dry out, preferably for a week. And that's for lakes in general. When you know that it's a zebra mussel infect, infested lake like this one, that makes it even much more important to make sure that uh, there's no water on board. That way these critters can't stay on board either. Zebra mussels are native to parts of Europe and Asia, the Balkan Peninsula, and Poland. Here in Texas, having or transporting zebra mussels is illegal and can earn you a $500 fine. You can catch any episode of KSAT Demands or KSAT Explains On Demand. Just scan this QR code you see there on your screen and it'll take you right to ksat.com explains and look for a brand new episode next Monday on the News at 6.